Alrighty, hello everybody. So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating this snail cam uh, that I actually have right here. And so uh, we're gonna be continuing using our parametric models. And so as you can see, uh, I've got this value for diameter D, I've got this value for the hole, and I've got this value for the thickness. And so what you'll see is because this is a parametric model, if I come in here and I change a value, so let's say I make that four, then you'll see that our diameter increases, right? And then if I come in here and I change this to be 0.5, and you'll see that that hole, the square cutout, also increases. And then let's say the thickness, if I make that one inch, then you'll also see that that's going to increase. All right, so this is what we're going to be creating. Uh, your final product should end up looking just like this right here. All right, and so now let's get down to business. Um, so the first thing that I do want to tell you all is <clears throat> I would highly suggest doing this because it's going to end up being a lot more efficient at the end. Uh, have all of your cams actually in the same document. So you want them in the same document. However, do not have them in the same part studio. So as you can see down here, I've got uh, this Automata with cams document created. And then I've got my steel cam in here. And then I will also include my other cams after I create them in here. Okay. So what we're going to need to do is you created the pair cam yesterday, right? So what you'll do is go to your pair cam document and then come down here to the plus sign, click insert new element and then click create part studio. That will create a new part studio. And so let me go ahead and just do that to show you all. And then we'll create the snail cam in this one actually. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this guy. And then so now this is what it should end up looking like. It should say part studio two. Go ahead and click rename and then put snail cam on that. Okay, so now, I will tell you all, uh, now that we got this set up, the snail cam is probably uh, the hardest one to create, and it's probably going to be the longest one to create. Uh, it'll probably take you around 15 minutes, I'm thinking, uh, with watching this video. Uh, so anyways, with that being said, I'm going to try to be quick, but also make sure that I'm not leaving out details uh, that you're going to need to know. All right. So yesterday, we were creating these parametric models, right? We're going to continue creating the parametric models today. And so um, we had those five steps, right? Well, uh, the first step was we needed to create a variable, right? Then the next step is we needed to click on the configuration panel, and then we needed to create these configuration variables. After that, we created a configuration list. And then finally, we were able to, um, we had the configuration window up here, and then we were able to, um, you know, change the values. All right, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to actually show you a way uh, that's gonna be a little bit simpler than yesterday's. And so we're gonna actually not need to use these variables anymore, okay? Because I'm gonna show you a way that we can do this without doing that. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and start off by doing is click on the configuration panel, and then right here on this dropdown, select configuration variable. So this is gonna be our first configuration variable that we're gonna create. This is gonna be the diameter. And we're going to put a value of two inches for the default. After that, press the green check mark to confirm. Then let me move my video. We're going to select right here, and then we're going to create another configuration variable. Now, this configuration variable is actually going to be for the square hole. So we can do a square hole. We can put length for that. And then by default, this is going to be 0.25 because each side of that square cutout needs to be a quarter of an inch, right? So we're gonna put that down. And then finally, we're gonna create our last configuration variable. That's gonna be the actual thickness. And so we can put THK in there again. And so now we're gonna put default 0.25 inches. And so we've got all these configuration variables created. And so now it is time to create our snail cam sketch. So go ahead and press front. We're gonna create this sketch right here. Click on the front plane. And so now this is where I do want to mention these cam dimension drawings. These can be found under activity 412. If you click on this right here, it'll bring up these cam dimension drawings. And so what we're gonna be creating today is the snail cam. And so that is this cam right here. Uh, about the snail cam, what we see is that we start off with a radius of D divided by four, where D is the nominal diameter. And so we start off with D divided by four. And as we move through here, we actually increase uh, in radius as we move through this. And then once we get up here to the top, it's actually D divided by two is what this value is equal to. All right, so now I'm going to explain this uh, in the video or I'm gonna show you the steps 
but basically what we're going to do is uh, after this passes each uh, axis, so let's say that we start off at the positive y axis right here, right? And then we go over this part of the x axis, the negative x. This radius right here is going to actually be equal to um, d divided by 4 plus a sixteenths. Okay, and so we can break this down d divided by 4, or d times 1 fourth. If we convert this to sixteenths, this is equal to d times 4 sixteenths, right? And so right here, this is going to be equal, the radius is going to be d times 5 sixteenths. This radius is going to be equal to d times 6 sixteenths, d times 7 sixteenths here. And then finally, the d divided by 2 is going to be d times 8 sixteenths. But you can also end up putting that in as d divided by 2 as well in, your, uh, in the sketch. All right. So if that was kind of, if you didn't follow me on that, just follow along with this. I'm going to show you the process. All right. So here we go. Let's go ahead and let's begin to create our snail cam. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we can go ahead and I'm gonna actually use a point. And so we're gonna go ahead and create this point and we're going to, oop, yikes, hold on. I accidentally pressed that. We're gonna click point and then we're gonna set it up right here. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to dimension out this point to the origin. And so from that point to the origin, this should be equal to D divided by four. So you can either put that in where it's D where we use this variable. So you can click on this or you can press enter and then you can divide it by four or you can take it times four divided by 16. Either one will work, okay? So you see that that is equal to a half. That makes sense because D is equal to two. If we take two divided by four, then that's gonna be equal to a half. All right, so then next we're going to create our, uh, we're gonna press on our uh, point tool again. We're gonna go ahead and place it somewhere out here and then we're gonna use our dimension tool. We're going to dimension from that point to the origin. So now, as I was saying, this should be D times, so it's going to be 4 sixteenths plus a sixteenths, which is going to be 5 sixteenths, okay? So we're going up by that sixteenths of an increment. As you can see, I forgot to put the multiplication sign in here. That's why it's giving me that issue. So the multiplication sign is just an atrophy. And then press the enter mark or the enter on your keyboard, enter key. And then finally go down here, create another point. We're gonna press the dimension. So now the last one was 5 sixteenths. This one's gonna go up that 1 sixteenths increment. So we're gonna do D, enter, times 6 sixteenths down here. Enter. And then finally, we're gonna click on this point. Actually, not finally, we're gonna have two more here. And then we're gonna press the dimension, dimension that. So then now this was 4 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, 6 sixteenths. This is gonna to need to be 7 sixteenths times D. And then finally, we're going to press on this point, click right here, and then press the dimension tool. We're going to dimension from that line to the origin. And then this is going to be, you can just put in here D divided by two. All right. If you wanted to follow the sixteenths fractions, you do D times eight sixteenths, right? Okay. And so now we've got each of these points created. And so what we're going to do is we're going to actually create uh, these um, arcs through here. So these are going to be four different arcs where we're going to connect each point to each other. Uh, so we're going to start off by connecting these two points. So let's go ahead and select the three point arc. If you're not seeing the three point arc, press this drop down and select three point arc on there. And so now we're going to select the first point, second point, and then I'm going to drag this out. And then we're going to uh, make sure that it is bending out this way. All right, the arc. So then now we're going to go ahead and put in our value for the radius. And so remember, if something ends up happening, and let's say that this value goes away, you can always click on the dimension tool and then click right here on the arc, and then you can dimension that out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually set the radius to be equal to the value in between the radius of these two values. And so you remember that this was D times 4 sixteenths, and then this was D times 5 sixteenths. So what we're going to do is we're going to do D times 4.5 sixteenths. Okay, and we're going to press enter. So now we're going to do the same thing again for this next part. We're going to click this as the first point with our three point arc tool. And then we're going to select this point as our second. Then we're going to drag this out here. And then so now uh, this was four sixteenths. This was five sixteenths right here. And then this was six sixteenths. I'm going to put the value that's in between five sixteenths and six sixteenths. So that's going to be 5.5 divided by 16 times D. 
Press enter. Now we've set that arc up correctly. And then now we're gonna go ahead and do this next arc here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. So now, as you can see, um, I just got some yellow highlighted, um, those yellow highlights showed up. Make sure that you do not click whenever any of those yellow highlights show up for this because that will actually geometrically constrain uh, your sketch and you're gonna end up with issues if you do that. Okay, so now we need to enter in this value. So this is four, five, six, sixteenths, and then this is seven sixteenths. So we're gonna do 6.5 divided by 16 because that's in between six and seven. Then we're gonna multiply that by D. We're gonna press enter. So now we've created this arc. So now we're gonna create our final arc here and we're gonna select this point and then we're gonna select this point and I'm gonna drag that out. So as you can see, that just showed up again with that highlight. So I made sure not to press on that. So then now what we need to do is we need to select the value that's gonna be in between eight sixteenths and 17 sixteenths or seven sixteenths. So that's gonna be 7.5 sixteenths. So we're gonna do 7.5 sixteenths times D. And then now, as you can see, we've got our snail cam set up. We're gonna go ahead and, ooh, there is one thing we need to do. We need to connect these two lines here. So we're gonna connect those two lines, press enter, and then now we're gonna press the green check mark to confirm. However, I did end up getting an error message and that's for this. I'm gonna delete that and then we're gonna press the green check mark. Okay, so now this is our snail cam. We've created it. However, there is one thing that we're missing, right? And that is that square cutout. What I'm gonna go ahead and do first though, is I'm gonna click on this sketch and I'm gonna actually extrude this out. And so what we're gonna do is the depth should be 0.25 inches, but remember we created the thickness configuration variable. So we're gonna go ahead and just put THK in there. And then we're gonna press the green check mark, okay? And so now let's go ahead and try something out. So I'm gonna put four in here, for instance, just to make sure that everything's working. And then the thickness, I'm gonna change that so that instead of it being a quarter of an inch, it's gonna be one inch. And as you can see, it just changed. So that's good. We are good on that part. And so now let's go in and let's add our square hole. And so let's double click sketch one. <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. I'm gonna select the center point rectangle. So if you don't see that, go ahead and select it right here. And then we're going to select the origin and now I'm gonna be very careful that I don't end up clicking on any of these points because as you can see, that uh, ends up creating a coincident constraint. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and click right here. And then what I'm gonna do is these need to be, each side of the square needs to be 0.25 inches, right? And so we do not wanna put in actually 0.25 in there. We want to actually select this dimension tool and then we want to type in here the variable square whole length, right? because we want this to be able to vary uh, with whatever we put in for the value over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and then we're gonna put in square whole length and press enter again, all right? And so now I'm gonna press the green check mark. And then as you can see, we have now successfully created our snail cam, all right? So um, congratulations. If you have any questions or you need help with anything, please feel free to send me screenshots to my email, drainbolt at madisonhighlandprep.org. All right, I will see you all. Bye-bye and good luck.